If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoy the video. What's up everybody, this is DDS and today I'm doing a video on Complete Control and Logic Pro. I received a question about why do I use Complete Control, what's the benefits of it, and another question about how do you actually set it up to use it inside of Logic. So right now I have my Complete Control S61 plugged up and the benefits to it is it has built in scales, has art mode, key mode, all different type of stuff. But I'm gonna show you guys everything about the actual software on the computer and why it's beneficial to me at least so i use complete control let me go ahead and open it for you i don't know why i was stuck there for a second but anyway i use complete control i've been using it for a while now ever since it came out and it changed the game for me i was trying to learn piano before i'm actually trying to learn piano now that's why melodics is here but um I was trying to learn it play by ear and everything and before complete control came out I was using um, an Akai MPK 49 and I was just you know playing by ear doing well with that but when this came out this changed the game for me so what it is is this software a lot of people might just think that it has something to do with machine or it's machine it actually looks like machine right here but this is where you have all your you know NKS instruments I can show you what some of them are so these are from Native Instruments right here. Heaviosity. You know, different. I have output up here. Some of my output for some reason is installed under my user side of things. So I'm not really sure what that's about, but it's still previews and everything like that. So it still works. So I don't make a big deal out of it. But beyond that, these are not the only things that you can open because some people may think that this is the only thing you can open. You can open pretty much any VST that you have just open this right here well I guess since I'm using logic it has to be an AU so from there you just find what you're looking for Keyscape I love Keyscape so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up all right as you see Keyscape's here it's loaded up let me load the piano Like it's no set scale right now so to get scales with it all you have to do is click this button right here and then from here you go and select which scale you want so if I just want to go put something very random in here just to see uh, then you have to turn it on and once it's on just go play with it And like even if you don't want to try to play it how it's played where they just map everything out you put it on easy mode and literally everything is just lined up right there so you would just go like this for example like that's all white keys no black keys so should have showed you guys that on the camera but it's all good that's all white keys and it stays in scaled and it has chords You can record all this stuff too, so it's just a matter of just going like this. Okay, so as you see right there, it's recorded. Go in, you can edit it however you want to whenever you're done with it. So it's pretty good. You can do, you know, Omnisphere, Nexus, all that wonderful stuff. I know Nexus 3 is getting ready to come out. Hopefully they have new sounds. I'm glad they got rid of the e-licensor. I use Nexus still to this day, but the e-licensor was an issue for me. Like when I go places, it's great to have that now. I'm just hoping that they actually have some new sounds coming with it for the upgrade price. But anyway, that's a different video. Um, they also have scale, uh, not scale, art mode. So now it's going to sound different like... <laughs>
So yeah, that's really the benefits of complete control, at least for me personally, where I just sit here and I make my melodies and all that stuff using the scales. I don't click something, so I don't even know what's about to load. So that's going to be interesting to see what that is. But it's definitely beneficial for you guys. And that's really all it is. It's so simple. You go through, you can set your scales. I know there are tons of tools out there that helps you with scales. I'm sure Logic even has stuff to help you with scales and stuff like that. But I just love using complete control because it goes along with the keyboard and it just works well. Even if I didn't want to do, you know, try and learn it with the black keys and all that stuff. Because once you actually use this stuff, it kind of makes it easier for your ear to hear the different scales and everything. Make sure you're in key and everything. But if you don't even want to go through all that, you could simply just go to easy mode and just have all white keys and not mess up at all. So it's definitely beneficial. Um, you can tweak your sounds once they're loaded up. All of that stuff right from this window is beneficial if you have a keyboard. But even if you don't, you can still change the stuff from here. But your VST will actually be here. So you can still change it right there. So, you know, stuff like that. But again, for me, it's all about being able to use the scales and chords. And even from here, you can go and add your effects onto whatever sound you want. Being that I'm in Logic, I could actually add it on top of the um, channel with the sound on it. So, you know, little stuff like that. But that's how you open Complete Control. That's how you just go through the scales, the chords, and everything. Hopefully, this video was helpful. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Hopefully, you all have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care.